The 36-year-olds grinded out a solid PGA Tour career. On Saturday at the Charles Schwab Challenge, he wore a colorful shirt decorated by watermelons. But after his third round, Kakrak knew he'd be a villain on Sunday. One stroke ahead of him at Colonial Country Club, in Fort Worth, Texas, was Jordan Spieth, of Dallas, Texas. And Kakrak's from, not Texas. He's from Ohio. Jordan birdied 13, the par 3, and I walked off the green, and, I was like, well, I'm definitely not the favorite here this week, Kakrak said. He's a Texas guy. I'm an Ohio guy. It's fun. The crowds are crazy. But it's fun to have a local kid and play well and him be in the last group, and I'd be more than happy to spoil it for him tomorrow. The eyes of Texas may have a few tears this week. Behind a three birdie over six hole stretch, Kakrak shot an even par 70 on Sunday for a 14 under total and a two shot victory over Spieth. No other player was closer than four strokes. It's Kakrak's second tour victory, following his win at the CJ Cup last October. The tournament swung after a throw. Kakrak would work his way to a one shot lead a third of the way through Sunday's round only to take two shots to get out of a greenside bunker on the 434-yard, par 4 7th and bogey the hole. He'd pluck his ball out of the cup, then toss it away. Naturally, there were a few claps from the pro Spieth contingent. From there, he birdied the next hole, the 175-yard, par 3 8th, to reclaim his lead. After Spieth birdied the 387-yard, par 4 9th to pull even again, Kakrak birdied the 629-yard, par 5 11th to take back his lead again. He made it a two-shot advantage with a birdie on the 170-yard, par 3 13th, and he hung on, despite two bogeys over his last five holes. On the 377-yard, par 4 17th, after two straight bogeys that dropped his lead to a stroke, Kakrak dropped a seven-footer to exchange pars with Spieth. Then on the 435-yard, par 4 18th, Kakrak too putted for par, while Spieth hit his approach into the water left of the green. The gallery still cheered. The big takeaway Kakrak, after not winning over the first 200-plus tournaments of his career, has now won twice this season, and his game makes him a favorite for more. The Spieth resurgence, meanwhile, continues, despite a few hiccups on Sunday. The big shot's Jordan Spieth begins the final round at 15 under, and he holds a one-shot lead over Jason Kakrak, and a five-shot lead over Sergio Garcia. After three holes, Spieth and Kakrak are tied, and Garcia is essentially out of it. Kakrak bogeys the 551-yard, par 5 first, while Spieth bogeys the 379-yard, par 4 second and the 470 yard, par 4 third to head to the fourth tied at 13 under. Garcia, meanwhile, bogeys the first and double bogeys the third. Spieth and Kakrak bogey the 241 yard, par 3 fourth after both missing the green on their tee shots. They are both at 12 under. It is Spieth's third straight bogey. Kakrak birdies the 467-yard, par 4 fifth on a 23-foot putt to take a one-stroke lead over Spieth.